Hi, I'm Bianca, and I am a senior conference ambassador, and I'm going to be giving your tour for Adobe. And if I can flip the camera, my name is McKenna. I'll be filming today's live. I'm Scott, I work with Howard. <laughs> Lovely. Flipping back. Okay. All right, let's get started. So right now, we're in the B building. So this is kind of the little elevator space. And if we go over here, we have the laundry room. Next year, uh, we'll be actually paying for laundry, so you get two cycles for washing and drying, and then whatever's extra will be 150. And if you download Speed Queen, you can check your laundry status. Yes. But if we go down here, we have the halls. Important people, so we have the CRE desk over here, we have the creative community coordinator in here, and also the counselor that stays in the building. So if we go down here, we we'll actually meet our CRE. Matt. Who's it gonna be? <laughs> Hey everyone. Say hey. hey. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. Also, if you have any questions, send it in the chat, and we will try as best we can to get to, to those. So. Mm -hmm. And then also, again, yeah, the creative community coordinators down here and the counselor for, from CAPS. And if you have anything else you want to say, Matt? No. We're good for now. Matt <laughs> might come back later. We are not sure. <laughs> here we're going to be starting in the creative community. Right here will be our performance area. We have a lot of events that come over here. We have swing dancing. They did Mondays last year, probably Monday again. We did our big events like Push and Poetry. We've done Harvest Hoedown, uh, just with some food. They have crafting here. So a lot of fun stuff that comes in the creative community. Because we walk down these scary steps. No, <laughs> so again, this is our little big space. Uh, we've done movie things in here. As Due to poor connection, you're back. I'm back, all right, never mind. So the lights adjust, it's kind of like a theme. We've had even plays over here. You can rent right out the space, do whatever you please, as long as you have permission. <laughs> and we're gonna go and continue. So with any events or anything, you kind of contact her or her staff. Um, I've worked here for two years, so it's pretty fun. There's a lot of cool things that we have over here. Down this hall, we have all the practice rooms. Uh, one has a piano, it's soundproof, so if you are the pianist. You can definitely do your little songs in here. Two through five are actually just soundproof. They come with a little desk, chair. If you are in band, a lot of band people came throughout the year and practiced. Um, six and seven, they also are soundproof. They're a little bigger, um, but you can actually change the acoustics. You can sound like you're in an auditorium or a cathedral. Anything you please. It's pretty sick. So we we'll continue down here. And that would be all the practice rooms. Again, soundproof. You can also study in there. It's just really silent. It's kind of scary. <laughs> so I got scared. You can also record yourself. If you're a mural winner, mural contest winner from last year, we have a mural contest every year. So if you're an artist, a wall, you can pick any wall, actually, you get to choose. And they kind of just, you win it. Uh, this one was one, I forgot the name, but someone from the MC won this one. And I watched her paint it. It was pretty sick to watch. Um, to continue down here, we have the green room. It has different types of cameras. Um, you can also rent out the cameras here. Uh, there's different types of lights, a green screen, all that kind of stuff. If you want to take like headshots or edit or take a video of some sorts. Some people rent it out to do headshots for their LinkedIn, which is very important when you get to college. So you definitely rent that out again on the housing website, Creative Community. And you can do a booking through there. Now we're gonna hit the seminar rooms. All of them are differently spaced based off what kind of thing you're wanting. We usually use them for meetings. So like this is kind of set up as a classroom with two tables. This one is set up with like two desks next to each other. So again, a kind of a classroom form. Just kidding, that's a two table one. <laughs> each of them come with a TV. You can connect Spotify to HBO, Hulu. People study in there. They bring a whiteboard if you wanna do some math problems or chemistry problems. Anything you're into, whatever your major is. This is kind of the more conference room one where if you have a meeting of some sort, you can definitely meet in there. It's very fun. I put some music in there, I'll study by myself in that big room. If you want to here for their frat, I don't know how that works. But they did a lot of spray in there. It's, it has a ventilation system where it takes out the chemicals that spray has. So you can do anything you like in there. You can do wood ceiling in there, spray paint finishes, mod podge, whatever. We try to keep it safe and do all chemical kind of stuff there. 
here's just a little little area for a little study. We just added this, so if you want to just sit and wait for the bus stop, because the bus stop is right down there in this corner in this parking lot, you can definitely wait there. I did that a lot last year, so. Another, we have another mural. This is from a few years ago. It's about identity. Again, you can post any your art or anything and win the contest possibly. Alright. Now for the biggest attraction, the makerspace. So the makerspace is where a lot of people come to. It's all you need is your student ID. Everything is free. So there's fabrics, there's all the filament for 3D printing, wood, canvases if you just want to paint. It's just a lot of it can go all day, even when we're closed. Um, you also have an embroidery machine this year, which is pretty sick. It connects to your phone, and you can do any design you'd like. But one of my favorite machines here are the Cricut. It's so fun, and everything basically you get trained on. So if you want to sick, uh, record sick beats in the recording studio, you get trained on it. So don't be scared. Be like, I don't know how to use a sewing machine. Well, we got you, because we can train you on that. Um, Kind of under construction right now, but we're getting new stuff every year. There's yarn, there's embroidery machine thread, you know, everything. Cork. If you don't see it, you can request it. That's what she likes to say. So that's what I'm gonna say. And that's the end of. The, oh, actually, no, fine. Again, we have. I talked about the court. Not exactly. A repeat. Okay. I'll just repeat. Okay. So right here is the recording studio. This is the recording side. We have a bunch of types of cameras, like a condenser, an instrument, all those kind of things go on this side. This side would be the Midas side, which is the beat side, you like to say. It has LED lights that are installed in there. Pretty sick. Down here is the media lab, which if you're an architect or an engineer, it'd be really nice. You can go into the system where you are and use Adobe, which is a big part of your career. <laughs> And then the bathrooms. Alright. Then more hall, more lake. Last but not least is our movement studio. Again, we have a lot of equipment that's not shown today, but if you do yoga or you want a yoga ball, a ballerina bar, uh, yoga blocks, then we do have them. You can again rent it out while you're in the space. But this is pretty sick. It actually has a floor where it has the little bouncy straight springs. So if you actually are a dancer, it will really help. You can also put down the curtains if you want a little privacy. And that's basically the credit game. And this is being recorded. You can find this later this month either on Reels on Instagram, right here on Instagram, or YouTube. It will be uploaded later as a video. And again, everything is free. Yes. Don't forget, everything is free. We like to say that very loud with our chest because everything is free. Let us continue. Back up the stairs. <laughs> I'm gonna face this way. Don't think I'm not looking at the camera. No, I'm just go scared you're to fall. Next. Come, Come back. back. I think we're back. All right. We're back, hopefully. If not, <laughs> not. We've had the U Rec Center do a movie night down here. A lot of people tan down here if you want a little sun. You can do your homework down there it's very, if it's very nice outside, but try this area. Again, you can do a little vent out here. On the, my right, small court, so that equipment can be, I just want to play some ball. Now we're going to enter the cabin. So for the amenities in the creative community, you do not have to be a resident to use those. Anybody on campus, someone asked about that. Yeah, you just need an ID, your student ID, you do not do driver's license, nothing like that. Up in here, anything like that. Some bathrooms. You need to relieve yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is kind of the main area. It comes with big tables. We have a ping pong table, a uh, pool table, which again, you ask for those equipment from the desk. Uh, we have two big TVs. Again, if you want to watch, you know, Razorback football away, boom, you come with your friends over here. You can just sit. A lot of people did their homework in here during finals week. I mean, cook yourself a little meal in the kitchen, then study, because that's important. <laughs> and then we're going to go to my favorite part of the cabin, which is what I call it the little cove, because that's what it looked like to me, the cove.
You have a little center here, kind of like keeps doing that. That's okay. right. It has a little so the stairwells next to the kitchen uh, go up to B, and this stairwell right here goes to A. So if you're or you can just bother. While we're outside, right over here by Pomfret, so Pomfret is our little neighborhood uh, dorm. It has a dining hall in there, which is, I think is good. Um, but also this little area over here is like hammocking. If you're into that, you can definitely just use the poles. I don't hammock, so I don't know nothing about that, but you can definitely use them. Very fun, very, especially with weather like this, it's very nice today. So hammocking today. You also have a little waterfall, take pictures by it, have a little time with it, sit by it and get a little water on you when it's hot. It's an A. So B is technically connected to A as well with their little, we call it the sky deck. Um, if you point over here, we have a little, you can see it connects to the fourth floor of a dohi, B to the third floor of A. I'm pretend over there, that's what a lot of people did last year. <laughs> last year um, a lot of people took pictures during snow day up there. It's very nice, very pretty. And now we're entering A. Um, a has our desk, which is great. Here is our desk admin, the girl. I'm Kathleen, I'm your desk admin for Adobe. You know, you'll come see me for packages, mail, keys. You toss your keys down the trash chutes, that kind of stuff. Any, and anything else that you need help with, honestly, I'll try my best to help you out. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. If, it was, if you have packages, you know, you want your little Amazon haul, you come over here, you sign your little thing, she'll give it to you during hours. There's certain hours which are on housing. Um, right here are all our mailboxes. So each room shares a mailbox. So yes, you and your roommate will share a mailbox. Um, our address and everything should be in your portal once you get your room and everything. It'll say which box you are. If you have letters and stuff, it'll be sent in this area. This is also another common area. We have a printer. It only prints black and white, which they'll show you how to do that next to the computer. And we actually just got a new monster machine. So yes. pretty sick. Yeah. We <laughs> needed some energy before class. Boom, right there. This is also the A laundry room. Also soda. Um, but yeah, this is another one. Um, perfect. Pretty sick. Now we can go to the room, which I think that's what everyone's here for. And we will likely lose connection in the elevator, so hold on tight. Hold tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> <laughs> Did they get that? It smells good in here. I think they just clean. Yeah. Does smell good. All right, look at it. And you're back. All right. Every floor has a kitchen, which is nice. So personally for me, when I lived here, I didn't buy a microwave because a lot of them came with microwaves and I'm not spending $30 when it's right by me. Um, but it also comes with a little kitchen. Uh, we have a stove, oven, if you wanna make like lasagna or something, a sink, little cabinets if you wanna lock up your you know, pots and pans. Uh, right here is a little, again, a little common area. I would sometimes watch Family Feud over here and people would join me. So you can do homework around here, you can just watch whatever, you can connect your Switch, play some Mario Party, whatever you're into, you can do it here. Down, so in Adohi, everything is kind of split in half. So down this way would be the pods in this floor, which pods are rooms that don't have bathrooms and sinks inside of them. Mm -hmm. So down here, it also has a community bathroom, which comes, I think, with two showers and a few toilets to use. <laughs> But we're actually gonna show you the semi-suite today, which has the bathroom inside of the room. And also at every floor, there's common spaces like everywhere. So this is the main one, but there should be like two down there also and two down here also. Some of them are just big desks where you can study or just a little chill area with some sofas. So we're just gonna enter 341. If 341's watching, we're in your room. Yes. All right. So this is the semi-suite. This is not the semi-suite. All right, this is the semi-suite. Stool clothes in it. And then again, it comes with the bathroom. So this, some of them have the sink outside and sinks inside. This is one where the sink is outside. You have the mirror, your little cubbies, which is nice because it comes with two. So your roommate has one side, you have one side. Very cute. And then in here is the bathroom. 
Sorry, I'm reading. I'm reading <laughs> questions. <laughs> toilets nothing crazy and yes you do buy your own toilet paper <laughs> if you live in your own room yes um, it's, which is nice you can buy the best quality ever so a question we have is yes. what is the height of this pole when the bed is fully lofted how high would that be Measure this. yes okay. to the floor is yep floor? i think so what does it say five three five, five, three. five, five three. three is that right is Wait, that right? Yeah, that should be five to three. <laughs> Just because I have to look Okay, I hope that answered your question. Let's see if we have any others real quick. But you can also flip it where these little rails here can go up, and you can actually do it even higher. So it can go, the bed can go up to here, basically. Yep, yep. So if you have, like, a fridge, what I did is I put my fridge down here below my bed, mm -hmm. or even, like, my coffee stuff was below my bed and everything like that. So if you want to, like, zoom into these scales... Mm -hmm. You can definitely flip it. This is yes. just the lowest level. This is what you have to put it in when you move out. But you can just flip it. And you can be up as high as here. So. Hmm, I'm trying to see what this other question says. It says, when the desk and table are side by side against a wall under the fully lofted bed, hmm, how many inches are left over? So do we want to measure what the desk and nightstand are? and then subtract that from the bed. That might be a question for the move-in website. Yeah, Move-in.uark.edu, I believe. And so you can go there and calculate that. Yeah, they have a 3D model of the room. So if you're worried about measurements, you can definitely use that and see what you can put in here. So like, I didn't get be able to come to orientation or anything like that on tour. So I use that little 3D model to think about my measurements. So if you have any measurements questions, that's like the best way to go is those. So is there a difference between lifted and lofted beds? I would say no. I think you can lift it at any height. Yeah. Um, lofted would be all the way up. All the way up, yeah. A yeah. lot of people do that as lofted. Mm -hmm. But you can do it every morning. It opens up a lot of space in the room. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. None that I see yet, but. This big curve. Pretty sick. Awesome. Pretty sick. Yes. These virtual, these virtual tours are on the website and stuff like that. A going page of the website. Oh, yes. So we have what's called Matterport and Concept 3D. You can go in and virtually tour basically every dorm. Um, it's like you have a VR headset on, but without the headset. And you can, like, step through each dorm in order to see the space. Um, I was going to say also this is a co-ed dorm, so it's boys and girls on every floor, it can be mixed match, it's not really particular, like Pomfret or something like, like that. So I know when I lived here it was mostly girls because this is a girl populated school I'm pretty sure, but it is mixed uh, co-ed. So yes. all that is on. Can we see a single room, someone asked. Why not? <laughs> Wait, a, single a single room, not just a... All right. It just I, says, I was going to go to the pod. I don't know why I thought that. Okay. A single room? Yeah. I can show the RA room. Which you is can just show the pod and just say it doesn't have an extra bed. Oh, okay. Cool. True. Let's do that. So like a pod without the extra bed. Let's head that way. It's not close. Oh. We are going to show a pod because technically it's a single room without the other bed, if you want to think of it that way. In the UARC Wi-Fi. There shouldn't be a bad connection because the Wi-Fi here is great. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually being great serious. <laughs> this thing ever. Mm -hmm. So put a collection there. I don't know. Or a fridge. Or a fridge. fridge. Put a fridge fit in there? I don't know. It looks like it was. Also someone told me a fridge could fit in there, but yeah. I added it in here so <laughs> And while we're here, again, this is another community space by these rooms. This one's actually kind of just couch and TV kind of vibe. Um, this is actually a bathroom right next to here. Um, not going to open it, but that is a bathroom. And that's that. Is there any other questions? Not so far. Awesome. And someone asked the space between the shelves above the fridge and the nook. Is that referring to what we were just talking about? I think the desk admin just told me it was like two by two. Two by two. Okay. It's not like two by two. It's on here. Let's see. Mm, 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 mm. She could be live. Also, I don't know how to do this. Yeah, two. So the depth 
the depth is two and the... I can't get it all the way there, but it's two by two. Can't. Two by two. So awesome. maybe a fridge. And you also have little your little outlet. I cannot think of the word for a second. A little outlet for your fridge right there. Yes. And in Matterport, up on the website, you can measure all of these measurements yourself. Um, I Do we have a compiled list somewhere that you know of? They have, um, they have um, floor plans on each okay. page. And, and if you can't find that, go into Matterport Concept 3D on our website, movein.uark.edu, and you can measure things on your own. There will be a reel about that coming out soon on UARC Housing, how to do that if you are unsure. So what's the price difference between the last room and this one, if we know that offhand? A price. <laughs> it's like, I just, do I have that? No, I don't. Oh, it's on the website as well. It has every, if you want a semi-suite or a pod, I'm pretty sure I just saw it. a pod was like five thousand eight, and have then six thousand was yeah. a semi. I think that was single room. I was looking at single rooms, but yeah, you can look at the difference there. It's gonna be like five thousand for a pod, and then like a little higher, a few hundreds, hundreds, hundreds for a semi suite. So I lived in a Dohi last year. I did have a single room though, but I did live in a Dohi. It was quite fun. Um, use the bus route because this is in the bottom of the hill. Uh, <laughs> I use the bus route 11, the green green bus, not the green bus, the green like route. I cannot yes. remember the word. No, green good. route. Um, it comes by like every 15 ish minutes, so you will make it to class. I did that basically all year. It's also nice because you're in the bottom of the hill, which is close to you know basketball, football field, everything like that. And if you want to get in line early, it's nice living down here. Someone asked again, can we still show a single or RA room? I mean, we can do it. We got time. Let's do it. Why not? Time. Why not? Everything's open right now. <laughs> yeah, we can have the RA room. Should I do the pod one or the singles? I think single I think one. Awesome. They're awesome. No. Okay. Yeah, they are. Here so we are. So this is the RA room. This is a semi-suite. I think all our rooms actually have bathrooms. Um, so again, we have a bed here. It's actually nice. The dresser is right next is it no you're good okay uh, we have a little cubby here with the dresser again bathroom it's quite spatial this is more of a square room they also have kind of right time right back a little rectangle rooms in a sense uh, when it comes to our rooms they all are laid out different we have our sink here a little light and no the mirror does not come out everyone I, thinks that everyone thinks that I thought that when I moved in here it doesn't so don't pull it off but I, I did that, and I didn't pull it. <laughs> but this is the single. Will they loft the bed for you, if you ask? You can do a maintenance request, and they can do it. I know some people did it. It's really not that hard to like do it. I've done it by myself without a mallet. Sometimes it just pops right off. It just depends on the bed. Uh, but you can also get mallets at the front desk. You just pop it off, flip it, and put it on. It's actually not that bad. Especially if you have a roommate, you guys can help each other to do it. Yes. I'm trying to show the whole room as best I can. Awesome. Any other questions, you guys? Do, do, do. So yes, this is a single room. They all look very similar, as she said. Awesome. Any other questions before we go? Questions, questions. Awesome, well, thank you guys for joining York Home Live at Dohi. You want to say bye? I'm Bianca, <laughs> and you're watching Disney Channel. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> bye. Bye.